for this week. The most essential learning competency is to use a variety of informative, persuasive, and argumentative writing techniques. Good day everyone! I am Teacher Arlene and it is another great week of learning in English STEM for the third quarter week 3. In our previous lesson, we learned to compose an argumentative essay through outlining, writing a thesis statement, and identifying the types of argument claims. In this lesson, we will learn how to choose the most effective ways to get your message across and exploring techniques to help you apply them in informative, persuasive, and argumentative writing. But before you proceed to the lesson proper, take time to identify the type of text written in each speech bubble. Now that you have accomplished the first task, let us explore on the writing techniques of these different text types. Informative writing educates the readers by imparting straightforward information, facts, and details on a certain topic. It gives them a new understanding or new appreciation of some topics which are might be familiar. In informative writing, a writer answers questions of why or how. The four types of informative writing are definition, cause and effect, opposing sides, and process essay. Take note of the essay prose parts of an informative essay. The introduction, the main idea, and the conclusion. Next is the persuasive writing. It convinces the readers of the validity of the writer's argument, builds argument and opinion and factual statements, intends to make the readers do certain things, and presents arguments only about one topic. To come up with a good persuasive writing, the following techniques are presented. For the parts, there should be an introduction, a body with at least three reasons for your opinion, and a conclusion. Remember the following points in writing persuasive essay. The last one is the argumentative writing. In quarter 3, weeks 1 and 2, you learned that argumentative writing aims to change the reader's mind by convincing him or her to agree with your point of view or consider your stand or argument on an issue. A strong argument has five key parts. First is the introduction which consists the claim or thesis statement. Then the body which consists the evidence or pros stating the counter-argument or cons, and consisting the rebuttal or refutation. And lastly, the conclusion. To better understand the structure of text, do Learning Task 1 for informative writing, Learning Task 2 for persuasive text, and Learning Task 3 for argumentative writing. To practice more on the different writing techniques, accomplish learning task 4. Read the given facts or ideas about throwaway culture. 
use them in developing your essay, focusing on techniques in one of the writing forms. Informative, persuasive, or argumentative. Be guided with the task rubrics on the last page for you to know how your output will be graded. In this part, it is your turn to reflect on what you have learned from this lesson. For the assessment, read the statements carefully. And on your paper, write agree if the statement expresses truth about argumentative, informative, and persuasive writing. And disagree if it says otherwise. Number 1. The main objective of an argumentative essay is to tell a story. 2. Persuasive text combines facts with emotions to convince the reader that the author is right. 3. In developing body paragraphs in an argumentative essay, you must state your opinion, expand the claims, give reasons to support your opinion, and argue against the opposite opinion. Number 4. Informative writing aims to give the readers a new understanding or appreciation of some topics with which you might be familiar with. And for the last number, there is no need to present the pros and cons arguments in an issue of an argumentative essay. That would be all for this week. Once again, I am Teacher Arlene and see you all for another interesting lesson next week. For now, stay connected to Pivot TV, your quick guide to learning.